In this video, we are going to show derivative of sin of x function will be equal to cos of x. Okay, we are going to see the proof of it. Okay, so as we have seen the basic definition of differentiation from the previous video, okay, or the first video on differentiation, d by dx of f of x was written in generic formula like limit del x tends to 0 f of x plus del x minus f of x divided by del x. So in the similar way, now f of x, in this case, f of x equals to sine of x. Okay. So now we're using this. Okay. So what we're going to do is f of x plus del x is sine of x plus del x. So this Okay, let's keep this, okay? And substitute f of x plus del x in here, f of x in here, and let's take del x and apply the limit, okay? That's how simple it is, okay? d by dx of sine x equals to, okay? Sine of, okay, let's apply the limit. Del x tends to zero. Sine of x plus del x minus sine of x whole divided by del x. This can also be written as, by using the formula, sine of a plus b can be written as sine a, okay, cos b plus cos a sine b. So by using that, we can write, okay, this as sine x, cos del x plus cos x sin del x minus sin of x whole divided by del x. We can rewrite this like limit del x tends to 0. Let's take the first one, okay, first term and the third term and take common sin of x. And let's take this term separately. Okay, so if we write this, we'll have sine of x common on the first and third term. We'll have cos of del x minus 1, okay, plus cos x sine del x, okay, whole divided by del x. What we're going to do is, let's take del x for first term, okay, whole divided by, and del x for the first term. Now, if you separate these two terms, then we will have two limits, right? So, we can write plus limit del x tends to 0, okay, these are two terms. Now, if you apply these limits here, what will happen is, we know that if we apply the limit here, this term, okay, over here, is going to 0 because limit del x tends to 0 cos of del x minus 1 by del x is going to be 0 and if you look at this term this term is going to become 1 sine of del x divided by del x limit del x tends to 0 is 1 so this comes in the concept of limit okay so by using this now we can write the resultant we have already applied the limit so we don't need to rewrite it so we'll have sine x times 0, which is 0, plus cos x times 1. So the resultant is cos of x. So now we have shown d by dx of sine of x is cos x. Okay. So this is the resultant proof by using the basic formula, okay, based on the basic definition. Okay. Thank you for watching.